Hey everyone, Nitesh is right. So let's start with the question. So the question is remove duplicate from the sorted array. You are given an integer array num sorted in non-decreasing order, basically increasing order. You have to remove some duplicate that is in place such that unique element appear at most twice. Okay. So and you have to return the k after placing the final result in the first k slot of the number. So let's see with an example. So if you can see in this case, we need to basically return the array that is not having consecutive at most to same element. Okay. So if I explain you with an example. Okay. So this zero will be considered because this is not at first. So we will take it. Now this, when we insert the second element, we will check whether the count is less than or equal to two. So this is less than or equal to two. So we will take it. Okay. Now the different element is coming. So we will take it. This will be count having one. Now this one will come. So at this point, we will also consider because the count is now become two because two consecutive same element. Then again, this element will come. So now count is become three. So we will not take this. We will move forward. Again, this one, we can't also take it because the question condition is we can't take at most two same elements. So we will skip that. We will move forward. We, now that second, now the different element is coming. So we can easily take it. Okay. Now again, the different element comes. So we will take it. Now this element is coming. Now we check whether the count is less than or equal to two. Yes, it is less than or equal to two. So we will take it. So this will be our final output. And if we calculate the length, so this will be seven. So we need to return this as a an answer. Okay. So if we go with the name approach, what we can do is basically create a new array, but in the question, it's clearly mentioned that you can, you only have to do in in place. Basically you can't take an another array. You have to do in big of, of space complexity. Okay. So let's see how we can do this. Okay. So what we will do, we will take, uh, so we will start from here. Okay. Our current variable will be pointed here and we will take one index variable basically, which will represent, uh, which will only consider two element at a time. So our index will point at here. Okay. And we will store this value as a previous value. Okay. Previous will be zero and we will take a count variable also, which will be one because we have take one element. Okay. So we need to compare this current element with our index value with our previous value. Okay. So we will check is this element is equal to this. Yes, this is same. So we need to do something. If it is not equal to same, then we need to do else something. Okay. So we will see now this is same. So what we will do, we will increment our count by one. So count will become two and we will insert this element at this index and we will increase both the pointers. So this will point to here and now index will be point to here. Okay. Now we again compare this value, this one with our previous, we will, we see that element are not matching. So what we will do, we will take this element and put it at this index. So one will be inserted at here and we will update our previous to now this one and our counter will become now one. Okay. Uh, you got the intuition like when I explain you the whole example. So we will move forward. We will like I will point it here. Now we again compare this with our previous. So previous is one. So it is matching what we will do. We will increase the count. Okay. So we will take this element and put at this index basically. Sorry, I have increased the index. So this will be pointed at here. Okay. So we will insert at here. So this one will insert at this position. Okay. Now what, uh, now again, the one come, okay. We will see this element is matching with our previous. So what we will do, we need to check our count. Is it less than equal to two? If it is less than equal to, we can take it, but now count will become three because the one is having the three consecutive one. So we will not take this one. We will just move forward. Okay. So we will move forward. Now again, we will check, uh, is this matching with previous? Yes, it is matching. So we will increase our counter. 
now we will check whether it is less than equal to 2 no it is not less than equal to 2 so we will not insert in this in place so we will move forward now we will see this 2 so this 2 is not equal to 1 what we will do we will take this 2 and insert at this index okay so now 2 will come at here and we will increase this index by this so now index will point at here okay and our previous now become 2 and now count will again back to 1 okay now we'll move forward we'll see 3 we will again check is it matching with our previous no it is not matching with that so we will insert at this index okay so 3 will insert it and we will increase the pointer by 1 and we will increase this one also this i and update our previous also so previous will be updated to 3 and also we will update count so count will again back to 1 okay now we see this element is equal to our previous so what we will do we will need to check we will increase our count okay so when we increase our count we need to check whether this is less than or equal to 2 so we will consider it so we will take this and insert at this position so now this become 3 and we again increase index pointer and also i pointer now i come out of the array so this will be our final uh, list which is having only at most two duplicates okay and we return this index variable so from this we get the seventh length okay so let's write the code for this okay so what we need we need an index variable which will point to one we need a counter variable which is point to one and we need a previous value which will start from zeroth index so we will start with our loop from ith index and we'll increase the pointer we need to check if this nums i equal equal to our previous okay then we do something else we do something okay if it is equal to what we will do we will increase our counter okay we will increase and we need to update into our in place array also so what we need to check if count is less than equal to 2 then do this basically nums index equal to nums i and we'll increase our index point okay now let's say element are not matching so what we will do first we will insert that at this index nums i now we'll increase the index pointer we will update our previous previous by basically uh, nums i and we'll increase the we'll update the count again to one after that we just need to return that index variable okay so let's run the code so as you can see this is accepted let's submit so this is also submitted so that, that's all for this video and also the time complexity for this is basically we are just doing the loop over array so it's big of n uh, that's that's for this video thank you for watching this video